The history of electronic music has been marked by cities, and Jeff Mills is definitely one of the pioneers of Detroit techno scene, and he was very high in my wish list. We met each other, uh, I think around the, year, around the year 2000, I think. I had come to Paris to show a new soundtrack that I had made, Fritz Lang's Metropolis. After the showing, I, re I received a letter from him at my hotel asking if, if I had time to, to meet. Uh, a car came and, and picked me up and, and brought him you know, to his location where he was staying. And we talked for hours. And it was, it was such a, you know, an honor to meet him. And I conceived the track with a slow BPM acceleration, like uh, when you add floor after floor after floor until the top. So I, I had sent many different parts and many different stems and things for him to be able to consider. But I didn't really want to conclude what he would do. I, I just kind of left that up to him because I kind of knew that he probably had a master plan for it once he heard it. I asked him also to conceive TR909 solo like a jazz drummer would do. The drum machine, the Roland TR909. I was manually playing the drum machine as if, say, a live drummer would play a, a drum kit. As soon as I could get to a machine, I laid many different solos in that way of the same tempo and submitted it to him to see what, how he would insert it. Uh, it, was, it was really the first time that I had anyone to want to consider to use that type of, using the machine in that type of way. I always considered music and architecture quite close to each other. They're both abstract and mathematically organized. Architecture is what I really referred to a lot, especially in the early 90s. The process of building something and then once the foundation is built, then, you know, you can experiment and get all crazy with it. I think the final result, you know, what he did with it is just, just magical. Yeah. 